Hey everybody. Um, so, quick update on the long overdue update. It's been piecemeal progress on this project. Um, short of it is I've been going through some health and occupational issues. Short of it is I'm getting ready to move, um, changing occupation. So, anywho, here's where I'm at. I built a stand for it. Had some scavenged steel angle, angle iron, welded it up. Built a table out of three quarter inch MDF, uh, two by six ripped in half, and slotted to put the, to do like a, about a three quarter fit into these boards. So this is actually like one solid piece now. Used urethane foam, grill glue, and uh, sealed it up. It's all tight now. And then used Rust-Oleum um, topside boat deck finish. Uh, it's supposed to be really good for this kind of thing. I've read online at least. Seems to be holding up really well. Bolted her down. Here's a little adhesive, um, silicone adhesive down in here. And here we go. Silicone down through here to seal this up so I don't have any leakage between here if I end up with any puddling. Um, but that's, I got that done. Um, future parts of this project are going to be, I've got the wood for it, but I'm going to build uh, kind of angle brackets out of lumber that go here. We'll come up about, eh, let's see if we're level here, they're going to come up to about this high. There will be a frame across the top, essentially box this thing in uh, frame wise. And I've got 8th inch MDF that I'm going to build panels with around front, back, sides. But the sides are going to be kind of like a wing that comes out. So as the table slides past this point, you know, it's still going to be contained with those things. But in a st situation like this, or where I need to store it or, you know, move it, whatever it is, I can actually, the whole thing, I can move this motor over on the X and it will fit inside of this box. So I could essentially crate this thing as it sits and not have to remove it. That was the intention of that. The angle brackets that you see here, the handy brackets, are a short term, possibly into a long term. This will actually get braced off the new frame once I get it built, but this part of it, this particular piece, the cross piece, is temporary. This bracket back here will have another one up about 12 inches on the new uh, frame once I get it built that will be um, for what's in this box down here and that is for attaching the coolant system. So I've got all those pieces in this box then I start having some the issues and you know, short of that is they're still sitting here. Um, this little box next to it are what you see here and they are these ER20 collets uh, quick change adapters like you have on the Tormach TTS. So I bought some of those, bought the collets and everything, and then future project is going to be the power drawbar, which I've got some uh, chunk of hex steel down here to make the pin, uh, and then I've got some spring Belleville washers to go with it and all that. So I've, that's in the works, but then here's the fun part, the case. I used a TV bracket like you'd hang your wall mount TV and uh, mounted the box on this arm. So that's how that's gonna run. And power switch on the side, flip it up, lights up, boots up, and we got Raspberry Pi. It's the Pi 3, so it's got the quad core chip in it, which is really sweet. Bluetooth keyboard, I think I've shown that. So let's turn that on. And you can see the fan on the top. I don't know, you probably hear it over the music in the background. I got that running. Sorry if it's drowning everything out, but cooling fan's going. Pie boots up. Let's see if we can get this to focus so you can see it. And let's open up UGS, Universal G Code Sender. I've got it set up to be single touch. Um, I also, the E switch here turns on the motors. So the E-switch cuts the power to the controller. So if something's going crazy on there, I hit the E-switch, I don't kill everything. Uh, master power switch on the side can do that if I need to, but this just kills the motor so the machine will stop running. And uh, get it to go here. 
I do have a stylus if needed. There we go. So there's that. Uh, let's see. Open. Buttons are all wired. Um, they're not working right at the moment, and I don't have lights on them. But let's see if we can do this. Yeah. There we go. So that's where it's at. It works. As you can see from the board, I ran apart the other day for a, the other thing that's been eating up my time. Um, I'm doing custom built knives. So I'll put a link in there to that channel. The channel doesn't have stuff. Look it up on Facebook if you're interested in custom hand forged knives. MockingbirdHillForge.com for the website. But uh, that's where we're at. Thanks.